Hello my beautiful Pisces and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome and if you are returning, I am so glad to have you back. All right Pisces, so we are going to do a love reading for you. We are going to do you versus them. You're on this side, your person's on this side. However, this is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave the rest. For some of you, you may find that you're on this side and your person's on this side. Um, so just, again, take what resonates. All right, loves? So let's see. Pisces, let's get your energy. Think of a person, keep them on your mind, and let's get your energy towards this person. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Pisces, you're coming in as a three of pentacles. So for some of you, this is someone that you've been in a long-term relationship with. If you haven't been in a long-term relationship with this person, then most likely this is someone that you can see yourself building a future with. I feel for a lot of you guys, any day now, you may be taking this relationship to the next level. Um, you could be in this moment right now where you're just kind of like taking stock of everything that you have been through in your life, all of the things that you've been through with this person, how this person has impacted your life in good and bad ways, and just how strong you guys have been after all of the things that you guys have overcome, not just together, but also the things that you've overcome separately. You see this as someone who, you know, You've invested a lot within this person. I don't want to say that this has been a smooth sailing relationship because for a lot of you guys, there's been a lot of up and downs. And for a lot of you guys, maybe it started off, you know, amazing and then it got a little bit rocky. But one thing for sure is that no matter how hard this relationship got, you chose this person every time. Like you would choose this person through hell and back because at the end of the day, there's nothing that really compares to how you feel for this person. And I love that for you. So let's see. Let's see how your person's feeling. How's per Pisces person feeling? How's the person on Pisces mind feeling, please? Woo, okay. Let's take a look. We have the world in reverse with the nine of wands or the nine of swords here. Okay, so for some of you, if you are in separation with this person, there is this energy of Okay, I'm getting two messages. If you're in separation here or you're on a break with this person, there's this energy where this person feels like it's not over. It has not ended, okay? And if you are, then on your side here, this shows like you're waiting for a reconciliation. Um, being away from each other only made you guys realize how much you want each other more. So with this energy here, it's like this isn't over. This hasn't even begun. And if there is no separation here, then what I'm seeing here is this person is like, I have barely experienced anything. Like you coming into their life made them realize how much more there is out there, how much true love really truly feels and how it can really help you grow and help you expand here. If this is a relationship where it's kind of always been smooth sailing, then what I kind of get is like, you guys are really taking a look at your other relationships and realizing like, whoa, that was not love. That is not how love could be. That is not how love should be. I feel like you, this person is in this energy of like really realizing how much you've transformed them, how much you've really helped them to see the bigger picture. This person feels more confident, more powerful when you're in their life. They feel like they can do anything, like they're unstoppable here. I think this is somebody here who is really overthinking this connection a lot. I think that between you guys, maybe communication could be worked on because I feel like you guys think a lot of sweet things about one another, but you don't really say anything. Like, um, for those of you where this is something quite new where I feel like for most of you it's not, but if it is, I feel like you guys kind of have to get over this energy of like waiting for the other one to make the move because at the end of the day, you both want to say the same things to one another. So it really doesn't matter who says what because it's going to be mutually reciprocated, okay? Um, back to if this is a separation here, this is somebody who's been constantly thinking of you, overthinking, kind of driving themselves nuts to be honest and I'm also hearing that their friends are kind of getting annoyed over the situation because they just keep bringing you up, they keep bringing this conversation up and it's like, I think that this person may, I feel like they feel like they have one last chance and if they ruin that chance, that's it. So they're kind of trying to get advice over the same thing over and over again, how to really come towards you in a way that you know, you will truly understand who they are, who they've grown to be in the separation. And I'm feeling like relate, regardless if this was a small separation or a big separation, this person has changed. They really have changed. Um, and I think that 
it was you that triggered that change and I think that they kind of were supposed to change while you were together but it really did take being apart for them to actually really think about it look back on it and be able to make the required adjustments now have they fully changed no I think that there's still some work that this person needs to do but I think they're more than capable of doing this and I think that once they got over this overthinking and you know um, probably even hurt from the past and they're going to be able to be a better lover for you so let's see what's coming on your side oh some of them flipped a lot of them flipped all right so let's get pisces let's go back to pisces side how's pisces feeling what's pisces energy towards this connection please Seven of Pentacles, yeah, no matter what, you're willing to work on this. You wanna put the work and the effort here. I do feel like if you are in separation, you're in this mode of really just focusing on yourself. You're really growing and expanding. I think that, you know, this separation could have been beneficial for both of you guys because I feel like you guys kind of took what you were, you know, what you learned or maybe what you were supposed to learn while being with one another but couldn't because there were so many other things that were going on in the situation. But you're taking that now and you're really putting yourself out there. I think there's this energy where some of you guys are even working on yourself, maybe realizing that maybe the separation was caused because of this person, but maybe now you're seeing that there are parts of you, there are, you know, ways where, you know, you had done wrong or you could have been better and you're really looking at that and you're analyzing it. And I think like one thing you've got to, you know, be aware of and just be proud of yourself for is I feel like you're really growing when it comes to your relationships. I haven't done a reading for you guys in a while, but I feel like, you know, you're really able to like look at yourself in the mirror and be truthful with yourself. You're able to be able to allow yourself to see the hard truths of things that maybe aren't so great and things that you need to work on. And you're just taking it and being positive about it and flipping it around. And I think that a lot of your hard work is paying off. And a lot of you guys can say that you're completely different from how you were a couple of months ago or how you were in your last relationship. You really have raised your standards and you're not lowering them. And that's why you've, you've allowed this person to raise up to meet your standards, right? One thing I think is like a lot of times like we get into relationships and they don't end up the greatest but one thing it's like yes it could be that person's fault but at the end of the day we are who we were raised to be not all of us realize that you know once you get older if you realize that you don't like the way that your parents lived or the way that whoever um, brought you up was living or what they taught you then you have to reteach yourself all of that I'm a strong believer that every couple of years we should reteach ourselves everything so for some people it's they've seen what they've seen and maybe they had a really bad um, you know, their parents had a really bad relationship and they learned some things and in the relationship that they were in the first one, they attracted somebody who, you know, accepted those things and also gave that kind of thing. So then that's how they see relationships. That's how they go into all the relationships until they're taught differently. And just by you keeping your standards strong, you'll always know who is able to rise up to the occasion and become a better person and undo their learnings or who is just kind of going to continue on that same process. But I do think that some people, you know, at the end of the day do deserve a second chance because maybe they're only doing what they've always known and it's time for someone to teach them better, right? Maybe they haven't seen better. So... I feel like you're getting stronger, you're getting wiser, and I think that there's so many blessings coming towards you, Pisces. You really should be proud of yourself right now. There's this energy of like, you're just completely glowing. You're just completely glowing. And I feel like a lot of you are, you know, learning to just kind of be in your own space a little bit more to really just enjoy your own time. You've been working on yourself, working on your self-love, and it's truly paying off here. So let's see your person. Let's see the person on Pisces. Oh. We have the star. Okay, they keep getting two cards. I think like who, I think this person is probably on this side. It's like they're a little bit less expressive. So I'm getting more messages. And then on your side, it's like, you've already said your piece. It's kind of like the energy that I'm getting here. Um, but on this person's side, we have the star and the magician here. So again, about how much you've truly, you're truly remarkable. This is someone who thinks that you're truly remarkable. But at the end of the day, like maybe you and how powerful you are like i don't think a lot of you guys knew how powerful you were when you met this person some of you guys learned through being with this person others of you you always knew but there is this energy where for some of you maybe how powerful you were triggered this person's insecurities um and i feel like maybe at one point they saw it as something that you know maybe like they automatically assume like I, I'm just gonna get left like one day you're gonna realize that I'm not as amazing as you and you're just gonna walk away from me and maybe that's what caused them to be the way that they were in some areas of life but on another side what I am seeing here is now that's transformed now they're looking at you and they're like oh my gosh I'm hearing go best friend like they're looking at you and they're just like 
amazed. It's like, I, for some of you, even if there's a separation, it's like, even if you don't get back with me, I just, I just want to celebrate you. I want to celebrate you and all that you are and all that I know that you can be. This is someone who is turning into your best cheerleader here. I think that they look at you and they are completely in awe. You have the power to manifest anything that you want. And some of you guys, you've really tapped into your intuition. You've tapped into your feminine or masculine energy. You've balanced them out and you're just sparkle. You are just complete. You're a complete sparkle. And I think this person loves that you glow just as much when you're with them as just as much when you're not because the thing is is you truly are a motivator to this person and i think that's the most amazing thing is when you can look at someone and they motivate you or they inspire you to be something more i think that that's just absolutely adorable and it's they're they're coming in as someone who's very sweet and very humble so i think that a lot of the patterns that this person had growing up they're releasing these patterns and you're the person that triggered them to do that you're the person that triggered them to see because i think the way that they were they've always been accepted as that so the fact that you didn't do that and for some of you it's the first time it's the first time you put your foot down and now you're really seeing what you can do by putting your foot down and never lowering your standards to meet somebody but always keeping them high so that people meet you like i mean your energy is on fire pisces if you, if you could the passion that's coming out the way that my chest feels right now it is like you are you have literally grown in so many ways and this person sees it this person's in awe of it and this person is making some serious changes in their life because of this because they see you as a star they see you as a wish fulfillment and not only do they see you as a wish fulfillment because i feel like they've always seen you as a wish fulfillment but they also see that they can become just as much as a wish fulfillment to you as you are to them. Even though they are not now, they have the ability to become this and they are working on becoming this. So props to you, Pisces, because that's amazing. It, this is truly amazing. We have the infinity symbol here. A lot of you guys, this is someone who is going to be your forever person. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, like when you're going to be with somebody forever, it's not going to be sunshine and rainbows. It's going to be hard because there are so many things that even you guys can't control. You can have the perfect relationship and all these things from the outside forces that are going to happen, you know, related to your family, your work, whatever the case is that are going to affect you guys personally that will end up affecting your relationship. So at the end of the day, it's not about finding somebody where it's sunshine and rainbows forever. It's about finding somebody that through the battles and through the storms, you still love them. You still respect them. You still, you know, are growing and working with them. I, I mean, I don't, I honestly love this. I really do love this. Let me know in the comments how this resonates for you personally. Um, because I'm very curious to know about your situation and how this is working and where you guys are at, but I'm rooting for this relationship 100%. Absolutely. Let's get some unspoken messages from your person. And if this reading is resonating with you, I have red calcite that I'm definitely feeling for your energy. And then I'm also getting Dalmatian Jasper for you guys, okay? I do feel like for those of you where it's a little bit rocky right now, the Desert Rose and the Rose Quartz will also be great for you. I have different versions of each of them in my store. So I'll link my store in the description box below. And I've also launched um, crystal packets for each zodiac sign, crystal kits for each zodiac sign. So that's in the description box. Um, yours might have sold out. I'm not too sure. If it's there, it's there. But I also have crystal uh, subscriptions. So, because we love crystals over here. I love manifesting and working with crystals. I do it every single day. So let's see. Unspoken messages. This is going to come from your person side because like I said, I do feel like this person has a lot of things that they got to get off their chest. Okay. Um, let's see. Pisces. What does Pisces person want to say to them? I'm... <laughs> Okay, tell me this is not perfect. I'm shit with my words. Tell me this is not perfect because you, and the thing is, there's like, I'm just meeting you. You're so attractive. You make me nervous. I'm stumbling my words. But then there's, I've known you for a long time and you still make me feel like this. What is it about your presence that is like, and I feel like it's because you see through everything. You look at this person and you see through their soul, whether you realize it or not, and it makes them want to grab their pants. That's that's literally it here. So this person wants you to know that they're, they're bad with their words, but I think that they're going to work on finding different ways to be able to show you how they truly love you. Because I feel like this person, I feel like they're actually good with their words, but I think that they overthink so much that by time they actually come to the point of saying what they want to say, it sounds so bad because they overthought it too much. They overthought it too much. So 444 when I'm saying that. So let's see what else can we get here. What else can we get? 
I feel like when you guys are laying down in bed and just relaxing, you know, this person looks at you, they, they put their hands through your hair and they think of so many sweet things to say to you and they just say it to you in your head. Some of you guys, this person has said things. Some of you, this person first said they love you while you were sleeping. It's like maybe when you're sleeping, they're able to say a lot of things. So for some of you, you may pretend to sleep uh, because that would be a good way for you to get, <laughs> to hear some of the things that this person has to say just by pretending to sleep when you're actually not because I think that's something that they do frequently. So if you wake up in the morning and you feel a lot of a little bit of extra love in the air, it's because of that. All right, what else does this person want to say to you? We have good chemistry, yeah, and I think that the chemistry between you guys is the, the you know, it's a no-brainer regardless of if you guys are having on and offs. Like at the end of the day, this is the type of person where no matter what happens, no matter how much time goes by, when you see them, it's that it's like when you first met, it goes right back to that. And I don't think that the chemistry between you guys is ever something that's going to, I think it's always going to increase. It's not really going to be able to die down. I think the chemistry, the intimacy, the passion, the spark, even when you guys fight, there's a lot of passion. It's because you guys really, truly care about one another, right? It's just about learning each other's styles of communication and finding that balance. So... And then I feel you, I feel you, I feel your energy always. I feel your energy wherever it is that I go. I always look out to feel your energy because I want to feel that we are connected. I want to know that we are connected. I love that I can randomly think of you and feel the last time that you touched me, regardless of where it was or when or how long ago it was. I love that our energies are always synced and always connected because I feel like I just always want to protect you. I just always want to protect you and I'm always rooting for you. I truly am always rooting for you and I wish that the, the, there's so much that this person wants to say um and I wish that you know I wish that you met me as the version that you inspired me to become rather than the version that I was before because I feel like you deserve so much and it will always hurt me to think that I wasn't able to treat you how you deserve from the very moment that we met I wish that we could erase everything and just start from scratch that is something that this person feels so strongly about because I feel like this person loves you so much that they're at this point where it's like it's not about you'll leave because you deserve better. It's that, am I even at the point, like, do you deserve better? It's not about will you leave and realize they're not good enough. It's do they think they're good enough? Do they think that they're good enough for you? And that's why they're doing what they need to do because they want you and they want to be good enough. So that's it. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And if you would like to dive deeper into your connection or you have any personal questions that you would like to ask, the link is in the description box below.